I was born in Ottawa as a baby in a family of six. Despite growing up in government housing, we never felt without. My family was tight. There was lots of love. We always had each other. My father is a jewelry maker, an illustrator. My mom was a painter, sculptor, caterer, and seamstress. Between all my siblings were illustrators, voiceover artists, toy designers, photographers, musicians. It was only natural I ended up being an artist myself. Simply put, I'm a sneaker designer. I started in music and graduated to clothing, then shoes, after I met my business partner, Henry, Henry Wong. Then we created Sully Wong. My parents were Haitian immigrants. They're old school. My family were never the ones to consider professional help or discuss mental health at all. If you couldn't physically put a Band-Aid on it, then it didn't exist. My mom was my life rudder. Losing her to cancer changed everything for me. The center to my support system was gone. I've always had to be strong, especially in the midst of hardship. I never seemed to find the opportunity to check in on myself. I've only started to since things in my life got easier financially when I had a little bit more room to breathe, as backwards as that sounds. If there's been one saving grace in my life, it's been my bike. Building it up has been the ultimate stress reliever and it really grounds me. My bike has also brought me to the Moto Social, an unconditionally welcoming community. The love I've received from other riders and the overpowering level of respect and unity, unpretentiousness, there's nothing like it. I've made a lifetime of friends here. We talk more about mental health today, but I think staying mentally healthy is getting more difficult because of how connected we are to social media and digital communication. But in reality, we are even more disconnected than ever, comparing ourselves to others, looking at highlight reels after highlight reel. I try to disconnect from that as often as I can, even for a few hours and reconnect with what's around me. It keeps me going. It reminds me of what's real. Every little bit of real connection helps me better understand myself. And that's why I ride.